we are so glad to have Dr. Charles Zhang, Nafadia AI Tech Center Hong Kong, Senior Data Scientist and Deputy Director to share with us when Metaverse meets Gen AI. Charles, please. Good afternoon. Uh, this is Charles. So uh, I will uh, try to speed up so, so every, every, everybody can have the lunch as soon as possible. So, yeah, today is, uh, I am, uh, so uh, uh, this is my, it will be my honor to be here, uh, invited by uh, Thomas, right, uh, to give a uh, talk uh, in this uh, summit. Uh, today is, I'm going to um, talk about uh, how uh, Metaverse, right, integrate with uh, generative AI and, and to, to boost. Uh, different um, uh, user scenarios. So, hmm? okay. So, so what what is uh, generative AI? I believe uh, all of you uh, already play around with the uh, Chat GPT, right? So uh, we can see that. Um, this is a, a few uh, key players in the uh, current uh, status of the uh, Gen AI. Uh, where we see that when Microsoft, OpenAI, and Meta are trying to release some, some of the large language models, and uh, NVIDIA, uh, we are trying to um, make the chips, right? Try to um, accelerate all the uh, AI computing. So uh, we see that, okay, so this is the um, uh, business opportunities, right? Uh, we, we, uh, there's a, a report from the, uh, from, from, from the analysts. Uh, we can see that, right? Um, this is ar around uh, 150 billion of the, um, the, the, the market, right, uh, for the generative AI compared to the whole global uh, software company. That would be uh, 60, uh, 685 billion only, okay? So we can see that uh, generative AI, more and more uh, uh, business uh, and, and, and company are working on these uh, generative AI technologies and building different uh, applications. So we see that, okay, uh, the generative AI has a lot of different uh, applications uh, across different uh, industry. Say for example, we see that, okay, uh, for, for healthcare, we use uh, generative AI for the, uh, for the drugs discovery, right, uh, for the life science, right, uh, in, in US. Uh, we work with uh, some of the national lab to do the, to, uh, for the drugs discovery. We have a model we call the BioNemo uh, to, to, to discover new uh, drugs uh, structures. And then for educations, we have uh, the ideations, right? Um, doing homework, right? Uh, I, I, I would say um, generative AI is a tool. We cannot avoid it, right? Just like a calculator. We need to learn how to use it, how to use it uh, properly, okay? And then uh, for the e-commerce and marketing, right? Uh, especially, especially for those uh, advertisements, right? We, with the generative AI technologies, we, we now, we can, Get a lot of different um, artwork, right? Uh, and then um, artists just uh, still, right, need to um, be here and then to fine tune the artwork, uh, fine tune for the advertisement. So um, today I am trying to talk about how generative AI help generating the metaverse, and uh, this is one of the products or one of the. Um, uh, the the technologies, right, from NVIDIA a few years ago. This is called the Ganverse 3D. Uh, that means we try to take a 2D images to generate 3D assets, right? At just, you, you can just imagine. Uh, everybody talks, talks about um, um, Metaverse, right, uh, last year, but, but this year, right, everybody just talk about uh, the generative AI. But um, the, for, the, for, the, for the metaverse, we need to spend a lot of um, resources to build a virtual world, to build a, the virtual space, right? Uh, we need a, a graphic designer to, design, to, to, to develop the uh, 3D content and 3D access. But with the generative AI technologies, in fact, we can just use, some, uh, just use the model, right? We input an image, a series of images, then we can get the 3D access or 3D model for our metaverse, for our uh, virtual world. So this is one of the algorithms, right? You can see that, okay, we, we just input a few a snapshot of the, of the uh, red car, then we can just generate a sequence of um, vehicles, right? 
Then uh, this is another um, um, algorithms, right? Or another um, um, models that we released uh, a few years ago. Also, uh, this is called the Gen 3D, and we we can see that um, the details, right? It, it, it improved, right? Uh, somehow uh, compared to the previous versions, the Gen 3D. So this is the 3D uh, Gen 3D. We can nowadays we can just um, use a few pictures to generate different um, images, not just uh, vehicles, right? You can see a frogs and, and even humans and the, and the buildings, right? Then now, this is the recent uh, publications uh, from NVIDIA's research teams. Uh, we call the Magic 3D. Nowadays, we can, we, with the help of the generative technologies, we can generate a photorealistic, not uh, just 2D images, right? We can uh, generate photorealistic and very detailed up 3D assets. So all the mesh and all the uh, 3D models of these uh, objects can be done by just using a uh, one images, right? You you just need to input a one images, and also a uh, a prom. Okay, I know. I think uh, most of you already know how to use prom, right? When when you dealing with when you use uh, the chat GPT, you can see. Uh, when we just input a prom, a, a blue poison uh, a frog, right, sitting on a, a water lily, then the model can generate a 3D axis for you. Then it helps you to uh, create or develop your um, virtual world for the metaverse applications. In NVIDIA, uh, we spend a lot of resources on the metaverse, but we focus more on industrial metaverse. Uh, that means we are trying to build the digital twins for Let's say for a um, building, for uh, for 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 whatever reasons, okay. Then this is uh, another models uh, AI tennis, right? Um, I believe it's last year's, right? This is a, a research work uh, last year. Um, we with the help of the generative AI models, then we train the videos. We train the model using a, a tennis uh, videos. Then uh, now we can just uh, simulate right different um, different uh, competitions right. You can see uh, Federer versus Federer right. And now uh, generative AI for movie okay. This is uh, one of the um, uh, I believe the startup company in US. It is called the Wonder Dynamics. Uh, they use um, uh, generative AI for making movie. So let's take a look. stories to life wasn't limited by our resources, but only by our imagination. Welcome to Wonder Studio, where making movies with CGI is as simple as selecting your actor and assigning a character. The system uses AI to track the actor's performance across cuts and automatically animates, lights, and composes the CG character directly into the scene. Whether it's one shot or a full sequence, Wonder Studio analyzes and captures everything from body motion, lighting, compositing, camera motion, and it even tracks the actor's facial performance. All the artist needs is a camera. Filmmaking is a medium of creativity and collaboration between artists. There's no AI that can replace that. Wonder Studio was built to empower those artists while still keeping the existing 3D process in mind. Alongside the rendered results, Wonder Studio gives you the ability to export the individual layers you need to deliver your final visual effects shot. Whether it's lighting, camera or animation, you can maintain full control and make detailed adjustments in 3D space. From the paintbrush, to the typewriter, to the camera, tools have always been an extension of the artist, a means to help our voices be heard. With Wonder Studio, we hope the world hears yours. So you can see, right, in the futures, we, we Actually, we don't need a, um, a actor, right, <laughs> to be uh, on site for the uh, photos, uh, the film shooting, right? 
And also with the uh, technologies of this uh, generative AI, we can help the AI model development. Say for example, in NVIDIA, we, uh, we are develop we developing the uh, autonomous vehicle uh, models. And also uh, with, this, uh, with this kind of technologies, we can build the virtual world and then to train uh, to, to make a lot of different uh, robust uh, scenarios and then to train our um, autonomous vehicles. So, uh, industrial, uh, um, uh, um, the metaverse, uh, plus all together with the AI, can generate a lot of different new opportunities, right? Um, so, yeah, this is uh, how NVIDIA is trying to use generative AI uh, in 3D workflows, recreate different, um, re yes, so. This is uh, one of the uh, software we uh, in NVIDIA we call the Omniverse uh, for making the uh, the 3D act, uh, virtual worlds. So we can uh, just leverage different uh, generative AI um, technologies from let's say from Adobe for Blender and then to make your virtual world uh, as soon as possible. So this is uh, the, the videos uh, showing you how to use that technologies. Planning industrial spaces, like factories or warehouses, is a long, complex process. Let's see how you can use NVIDIA Omniverse and Generative AI to connect your OpenUSD to fast-track planning concepts, like a storage extension to an existing factory. Use SyncTwin's Omniverse extension to quickly convert a 2D CAD floor plan into a 3D OpenUSD model and populate it with SIM-ready OpenUSD assets using Omniverse's AI-enabled Deep Search. Then use prompts to generate physically accurate lighting options with Blender GPT. Realistic floor materials with Adobe Firefly. And an HDRI SkyDome with Blockade Labs. To see the new space in context, compose it on a CZM geospatial plane next to your existing factory digital twin. Then, to share with stakeholders, use one click to publish the proposal to Omniverse Cloud GDN, which serves a fully interactive review experience to any device. Fast track your factory planning process with NVIDIA Omniverse and Generative AI. Yeah, so you can see with the appropriate uh, use of the prompt, then you can just create your virtual world in a few, I think, I believe a, a few minutes, right? So yeah, so thank you. This is the end of my uh, sharing. Thank you. Please keep